Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and the update just came out, so now we've got Enmu and Yushiro and Tamayo. Let's start off with Enmu and just check out what he has. Go into training mode for the first time and experiment together. I think it's only fitting we go... Wait, do they even have their map? Oh yeah, Tamayo's... Oh wait! Screwed that up, doesn't matter. <laughs> um... Right, regular attacks. Okay, so yeah, it is the two tentacles, the bunch of tentacles, into the two projectiles. So that's kind of what we expected. Down combo. Just same two projectiles again, except it hit knocks them to the ground. I wonder if that goes full screen. Oh, it does. That's really cool. And upwards. Just a few more projectiles and wonder how far they go. Let me get them to not be so loud. <laughs> Okay, they don't go as far, but they're still decently far. What's his grab? Oh my god, it is huge. Whoa! Sh what? And it doesn't do below- That's like one of the medium dealing damage grabs, and it goes freaking this far, and he doesn't launch himself forward, so that's just a massive hitbox in front of him. He can't get hit, but he just launches out this massive unblockable tentacle? What the hell? I feel like that's going to be absolutely ridiculous. His armor attack? That is equally ridiculous range. Oh, it's a little bit less. Oh, it's a decent bit less. And how- does it hit a bunch of times? Yeah, it hits three times. And, yeah, he can combo off of it. I feel like you might not be able to combo off of it if you're, like, this far away, though. Yeah, you have to cancel into a special move or something. Seems pretty good, though, just like his red attack- I mean, his unblockable. Because it has just these tentacles going out in front of him. He keeps himself so safe, because the opponent won't counter you. They'll just, like, get hit by your stuff, or, like, get countered and knocked back. You're not going to get hit while you have this massive wall of hitbox in front of you. That's so awesome. Whoa! Wow, okay, so I thought his dive kick would be a little bit like Susamaru's, but he does, like, two extra hits when he lands on the ground. That's ridiculous. So that's going to be so good, especially in, like, the first few games you play. People think they're going to be able to punish your dive kick when you miss it, but then all of a sudden these two tentacles come out? And I imagine you can combo off of those. Yeah. His aerial attack? Okay, so yeah, it's just three projectiles. If you press it once, it's just the two. And then the third one is a bouncing projectile. I wonder if you can combo off of that from up close. Or do you get too far away? No, you, you get pushed pretty far. Um, okay. Standing special. Whisper. Okay, so he's like Rui, he can throw three of these whispers. Are they just like full screen little projectiles like Rui? <laughs> they do a similar damage to Rui. Oh, oh, wait, they actually go really far. That is so powerful. Oh my lord. Because they're so slow, I don't even have to dash cancel to go in behind them. Like, look, I ran in front. <gasps> That is so overpowered, holy moly, even if I just throw one and then I run in behind it, go in for a grab, they think they have to block that projectile, but I just go in for a grab, that's like having a support, and like calling out a support and being able to run up behind it, but it's just a regular special move, and I can throw three of them, and then dash in, do a grab in the mi- Yo, that's kind of broken, so they have to be like running sideways and dodging these projectiles, because if they get stuck there blocking them, you can just grab in the middle of like the second and third one, or even the first and second one. That's so crazy, holy moly. And like, obviously, if you don't want to go for the grab, you can just chase behind and do some, like, regular comboage. They don't combo into each other, but that is so, so ridiculously overpowered, holy moly. Oh my god. I cannot wait to experiment with those some more online. Tilt special? Oh. Whoa, 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 what? So he leaves this. Interesting. So the first hit he does. Oh, and he can come right. Okay. So he does this first little palm attack and then leaves this orb on the screen that explodes after a while, and you does this nice bounce. Um, and you can combo off of the first hit. Oh, bro, that is so overpowered. 
And because his, like, his tentacle attacks, look, they barely move either of us. Like, I'm standing still while I do them, he barely gets pushed back while he gets hit by them. So if I just combo into this, I can do stuff like this. Bro, what is that? That is the most ridiculous combo starter in this game I've ever seen. I love it. Oh my god. Let me try a few combos here. Oh, whoops. So yeah, if I just do a few attacks to shorten the time. And then do something like that. Oh my god, that is so cool. Does that mean I can like go for like... Some really- holy moly, that is so advantageous on block. Look how quickly I can cancel it into my grab. So even if I'm doing this on block, this move is going to be so overpowered. Because it seems like it would be maybe even plus on block. Okay, on block it is not that advantage. But maybe at the beginning they'll be scared of that orb sitting there. No, it doesn't seem like it's actually that good for guard pressure. But like, even just going for resets, I can like choose to reset it there. And then reset them with that thing if I want to. Holy moly. And then at any time, because there's this orb there, they get scared of me attacking. And maybe they get in a combo. Or I just go for a grab. What? This move seems so awesome. That is probably my favorite combo starter in the game. Like, hmm, let me think of something. Right, if I did a down combo? Oh, that didn't work. Hmm. There is a lot of potential just in this one special move. It was a simple combo, it did okay damage for a demon. Uh, obviously, I, <laughs> I need more time to experiment. Can you do what, do what is it in the air? Oh, it's the same thing in the air, except maybe it does even more damage. Yeah, it does more damage if I do it in the air. Oh my lord. So if I do this version, and I can combo off of it from the air. Oh my lord. What is this special move? Oh, and he kind of dives a decent way. Oh, this is what we thought his dive kick was from the trailer. And then you can combo off of that. Oh, so he gets a dive kick, basically, that he gets a red combo, a, a orange combo off of. Look at this. Then go for a reset with his ridiculous grab. Oh, this character, what is he? Can I do it a bunch of times in a combo? Oh my god, how many of these can I put on the screen? I can just keep putting them there? Oh my god. Do these combo into each other? No. But if I go... Does that combo? Wait, so could I just go one thing? Wait, 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 wait. If I go like... <laughs> I messed that up, but there is some so much ridiculous stuff you can do here. I can smell it. And re- oh. <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't even real stuff. I was just mashing and doing stuff, but that looked awesome. And there's so much reset potential of the opponent doing a recovery and then landing in this, or waking up into this, like as a setup tool, like after I knock the opponent down. If I do my down combo. And I do this, or maybe I did something like a grab or something that leaves them in a hard knockdown. I'll have to experiment. But then you leave that, and th this there. Oh, I love setup moves. Whoa. Okay. Um. Now, this. Oh my God! This guy has an invincible special move. I think he might be my favorite demon already. Wait, can I comp- no way, can I? I can? I can combo off of this invincible special move that has a 360 degree hitbox? So even if the opponent tries to sidestep or like do something- oops. Like sidesteps behind me or whatever to like dodge it, it'll hit behind me and I can combo off of it for free? For free I can combo off of the- what is this character?
Oh my lord. I'm and this has a big hitbox. Not even just like around. Look how far this reaches forwards. If I go like here. Oh that didn't hit. Uh like here. Jeez. And even if I don't combo off of it, that's an invincible special move. Holy crap. So he's got decent defense, because he actually has an invincible special move that already beats like Akaza and um Yahaba and stuff. And he's got this epic dive kick with these, like, setup bombs. He can do some crazy stuff. I can't even tell all the amazing stuff you can be able to do with this. And he has these awesome setup projectiles that are so slow you can just run in behind them and get ridiculous setups from full screen. And we haven't even gone into his demon skills yet. Demon skill one. Interesting. Huh, I'm not actually sure what... What does this do? So it just hits the opponent and they fall down. Is it a really long knockdown or something? Can I get a charged... It does zero damage. And it starts a red combo? Is it maybe a parry? I just don't understand what this is supposed to do. Come hit me. Doesn't seem like it. Do they want me to use this in combos? Does it put a special effect on the opponent? No? Maybe it does something to projectiles, but I doubt it. What? I don't know. Like, it's not like he's at a lack for combo starters. It's not like he needs this thing to bounce the opponent when he has this. I guess that kind of works, but it's not needed, right? I'll have to look into that a bit more. That one's confusing. Tilt demon skill, though. I can see how that's useful. No, is that... Oh, wait a second. Is that small one unblockable? Chotomate. Oh my god, I see what's... And can I just... Oh! Okay, I see what it is now. It's a... Oh my god. This guy's the king of unblockables. And setups. And maybe invincible special moves. What the... So I can just... Like, not only do I have this really amazing... Like, what would have already been a really good grab character, because I've got this awesome grab that does, like, good damage and reaches ridiculously far. I also have an unblockable that I can just cancel into that's like... Nearly instant, way faster than Hinokami Tanjiro's unblockable. So I can just boom into an unblockable. Yeah, it starts a red combo, but it's not damn unblockable. What the hell? And if. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. If I'm throwing out these projectiles, and then I run in and do this, um. No, it will be what starts the combo, anyways. Never mind. But still, having this. Wow, how fast does it look in a combo? So, like. That's going to make his pressure so ridiculous, because any time you're hitting the opponent, they're going to be wary of you doing this, which is quite fast, so they're just going to be having to, like, mash, um, um, sidestep to, like, get out of there. They're going to be, like, blocking, like, oh, oh sidestep, get out of get out of there. Or, like, pushing you back, and then you can go for projectiles or whatever. But the opponent's going to be so scared of when you're doing offense, it's going to try and do sidestep. You can just do, like, one attack into another attack, and then you're going to hit their sidestep. This character seems so... Damn ridiculous. I'm loving it. Unblockable. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see what kind of damage we can get off of this. Okay, here. Oh, we could get like a reset situation. Like if I go... And then go for a grab there. 
and then all that does some pretty decent damage, but if they decide to keep blocking, after I get the, um, this, I can just go for reset, and then... Oh, oh my god, this is exciting stuff. After I did this, I could get, like, a reset, and then have, like... Oh, yeah, when you hit the opponent with this, wait, if I... Just looking at this special move. If I choose to not combo off of it, it's an awesome pressure tool as well. I wonder if that... Wait, is this explosion unblockable too? No, okay. But it's super advantageous. So if I get this unblockable, I can go for some juicy resets where I go like this. And the opponent's blocking there and then they have the big, big explosion that I can go for a grab and then that's on. Oh. This character is ridiculous. There is gonna... Oh. And then obviously his tilt demon skill is the big fat version we saw in the trailer. And I called it. It's totally unblockable. It's a massive unblockable that I can dash up and get a combo from. Yeah, it's a red combo, but it's this huge, slow unblockable. That and it has a lot of recovery as well. Look, I'm holding block. Oh wait, it has like no recovery. I eat my words. Look, I'm blocking already before that big block of slimes even there, even gone. What the hell? So you cannot whiff punish this at all. Like, even though I've done it now, even if I miss, look, I'm already blocking. There's no way that Sabuto punished that. Like, you have to be on point. They have to dash, like, right as the explosion, like, right after it happens to dash in and punish you for that. What the heck? This character is scary. So, like, and oh, off of these super slow projectiles. Wait. Okay, he surely has so many unblockable setups then. Because, like, if I run in... Like, he was just blocking that projectile, and then he had to worry about that. And if I dash in and make it even faster... That was, like, an unblockable setup. He had to, like, either be dodging those things in the first place and running away so that he didn't get hit my, my unblockable. Oh, this guy is juicy. What's his ultimate activation look like? Let's see if it goes far. Oh! It's a projectile! It's a projectile! <laughs> well, good thing these projectiles don't actually combo into each other, or else that would be ridiculous, and he could just hit confirm into it. But... Oh... Wait, why is he still grabbing? to do that if I do like this can I combo into it oh no that doesn't reach oh yeah but I have these projectiles in here so I can probably hit confirm from them or I have to like predict but still if I have like this setup just doing something like that this is from an unblockable he can just get his ultimate And also just the fact having a full screen projectile ultimate is the craziest thing ever. Because if the opponent does anything from anywhere, you can just armor through it, and no matter how far away, whether it's Rui throwing his projectiles, Akaza doing his punchy things, Susamaru or Yahaba throwing their projectiles, invincible ultimate through it, throw your own projectile, and then they just lose like 60% of their life. Um, what? Okay, and his boost combo ender? A third projectile that travels even further! Oh my god. I wonder if you can combo- no. Wow, oh wow, and that last one travels so fast. So it's probably gonna be a decently good zoning tool. I don't have another control here to test if it hits, like, people walking sideways, but damn. Oh! I guess let's like think about some combos now. So we've got the slow projectiles, but they don't really do damage or combo into each other. So they're not going to be for combos, they're going to be for full screen and pressure. We've got this, which does combo. This, which obviously does combo as well. Dive kick, which combos. This tilt version, which is like a dive kick that combos and starts an orange combo. And his demon skills. Aren't really for combos, I wouldn't say, because they're unblockables. So if I get a regular hit and I want to hit of like a full attack string, I do something simple like this. Okay, that didn't work. I don't do something like that. Oh, 
I don't even have to do a dash cancel off of that, so I can just do a super cheap combo like... And then get some kind of reset, or I could even just go for a grab like they did in the trailer. Or I could even, um, maybe... Okay, that didn't work. You could, I could maybe go for a reset and go for a charged one there. Because if the opponent... Hmm... thing is it does take a while for this thing to explode so that's a lot of combo counter gone so you want to kind of do your stuff early like even that that's a hard knockdown it cost me like zero meter and was like pretty decent damage almost 3000 for a single bar that's pretty good and that's just a few hits into a special and then a down uh, uh, wait no i messed that up then a combo into a down combo i wonder if i like do some extra stuff in here. Like, yeah. Oh god. And I could go for a grab at the end there. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. He's got such crazy stuff like this. Oh, and I do a few more hits on that one. So I have to be careful, because those projectiles have crappy tracking. <laughs> um. No! Don't, okay, don't, do, don't throw a projectile. <laughs> I threw a projectile. Two bars? 3,300? That's pretty good, and that is certainly not optimal. That's just me messing around. It's just too much, too much opportunity. And in like the middle of any of this stuff, I can obviously go for like a reset and like cancel and just like let it do it late. And then they just have to stand there blocking. And if they stand there blocking, then I get to go for a grab. Like if he's, he wants to block that, I get to get a grab. And even that with the grab reset, that's a huge chunk of chunk of damage. And I could probably do like, if I want to go for a reset, I could do that off of a longer combo to make it cheaper. Like, look at all that damage! Just if they got hit by a grab and then... Oh. This character is ridiculous. And I bet there's a good way to make this, like, pretty airtight. Like, if I do that... Or maybe if I did a few more hits... Then they have to... They have to block it. Because if... My hit just has a little bit before it explodes... Oh, that was a little bit off. Like, they nearly had to block that there. But if I timed it a little bit differently... Maybe if I... See, they had to block that there. There was no way they would have been able to dodge that explosion. So they had to block that, and then they would have had to block me doing some other attacks, because they were adv I would be at advantage from that first bomb exploding. I could do a few attacks, and the second bomb explodes, and then I can do some more attacks, or I could have thrown a grab at any point. Holy moly, this guy's juicy. And then obviously I can do, like, this sort of thing whenever I want. Um, yeah, I can throw in my, like... I want, oh, that was pretty... You have to do it kind of close, though, because it launches them a bit bit far away. So maybe, like, if you do a run-in and you want to get some decent damage at the beginning of your combo... Yeah, it kind of pushes them a bit far away, though, to be... Ooh! See, like, even stuff like that, there's... So many options. Ooh, that was that was being really cool. Like, I'm sure there's more you can do than that. Ooh, if I do that and then end it... Oh, that was a hard knockdown for 3,400. 3,400 and a hard knockdown. 
So I could have built my meter back as well, just from standing there from the hard knockdown. Oof, that was a reset accidentally. But like, see, stuff like that, he would have had to block that explosion. And then if he blocks, I've got a ridiculous grab. If he blocks, I have this. And also, something we saw in the trailer is... Um, maybe if I put the opponent onto a... A hard bot, they'll break out of my combo. But whenever you break a combo with this guy... Let me get it, see if I can get him to break. No, just calling out a support. But if, when they go to break a combo, if you bait their combo break... Can you break a combo, please? Yeah, like that. The, oh, and then if you time it right, you can cancel into this unblockable. And then if you read that they're going to break the combo... Okay, and then he's going to break it the next time I hit him, right? Well... AI, be predictable, please. Now we can't break. But, you see, whenever they break the combo, because they get launched sideways, if I timed it correctly, like if he breaks now, and then he gets hit by that unblockable, like, you can really bait their, like, their combo breaks with this character. Oh. And obviously it's just really good. Like, and I wonder how tight this stuff can be. Like, if I go for something like this, if I time that correctly, is that just super hard for them to be obviously they can change the timing of their wake up with the supports but if i do a knockdown combo like this i've ended my combo and then like boom was he gonna be able to get close enough to me to counter me before i did that or did he have time to run away like if i went a bit closer to him and i timed this perfectly where he can't hit me did he have time to run away from that combo and then can i run in and do it again like i i really want to test this stuff online because it seems ridiculously overpowered, but I love it. <laughs> I'm loving it. All this setup, all of these projectile setups that are so slow, you can get resets off of them and pressure. And an invincible special move. Oh, thank God a demon has one of those. I think Enmu is looking to be one of my mains. Like, oh yeah, and he's got super good zoning from using his aerial projectiles, which, because they actually combo into each other. And if I do these, can I actually combo into this? No. Maybe if I do the first two, I can do my dive kick. Yeah. And then that starts a... Oh, that starts a yellow combo then. Oh my god. This character's too cool. Okay, I think I need to stop recording and then do some boring stuff to find some really cool stuff with him. But oh my god. I think he's going to be a main. He's <laughs> looking ridiculously amazing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Let's move on to the next characters. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.